oh, just a bit of benzene meditation there. Here are two possible structures, and there are many other structures possible uh, for benzene. This is the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory version. There's carbon-carbon single alternating with carbon-carbon double bonds. The molecule is planar and it is C6H6. Whereas this is the molecular orbital version, having pi electrons in a ring at the top and the bottom of the planar molecule. So which of these is the real structure? Well, one of the ways you can find out is by adding two bromine atoms substituting the hydrogens for two bromines and seeing how many different sorts of isomers there are for each of the two structures. Using the molecular orbital model, you might naively think there are five dibromo isomers based on the benzene molecule. But close inspection shows that the 1,6 and 1,2 are identical, as are the 1,5 and the 1,3, leaving only three isomers in total for the molecular orbital model. The VSEPR model also appears initially to have five isomers of the dibromo, down to four. But in this case, the 1,2 dibromo, there are two isomers of that, one across the carbon-carbon double bond and one across the carbon-carbon single, leaving a total of four isomers. So let's see what Merck is selling. All right, it seems they have one, two, three, oh, that's the heavy carbon version, and that's the deuterated heavy hydrogen version. It seems there are only three isomers of dibromobenzene for sale on at Sigma Aldrich's site, Merck. But there's some internal inconsistency here. I'll tell you now, the correct model is the molecular orbital model with the circles in the middle. So there should only be three isomers, but they're selling three isomers, Thornley. Ah, oh, but pay attention. This one here is the dodgy isomer. You cannot buy 1,2-dibromobenzene with the bromines across the carbon-carbon double bond or across the carbon-carbon single bond because, of course, there are no carbon-carbon single or double bonds. They're kind of like a one and a half bond, if you will. Uh, those molecular orbitals of the pi above and below means that this doesn't exist. Can I have my money back? And we're done.